por la mañana, pastor José y Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church, another big man, a church you can call home. If you don't have a home church, come join us. Amen. Come, come be with us. And uh, where we honor God, uh, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo, where we want to welcome our NBC family, all visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. And all we ask you to do is participate. How do I participate? Well, receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. Don't just uh, look at Pastor Jose and say, well, you know, he's not doing this, he's not doing that. Be ready to receive what God has for you. He Amen. wants to bless you, and he's going to speak through me. Amen. So praise yeah. God. Prepare yourselves to receive, be blessed, be encouraged, be changed, and be corrected. Amen. Yes. And we're going to continue with Be Happy, part two. Amen. Something that we need to exercise all the time. We need to be happy people, joyful people. Amen. And Pastor Pat is coming. She's going to read something to us right now. Pastor got this from someone off of, I guess, Facebook or whatever. One of his friends sent you this. I want to read this to you. And this is where we're at right now, everybody. It says, this sums up our society today. 15-year-old school kid who got an A-plus for this entry. Listen at this. It says, the Lord's Prayer is not allowed in most U.S. public schools anymore. A kid in Minnesota wrote the following new school prayer. Some of you may have already read it or heard it. I'm going to read it to our congregation. Now I sit me down in school where praying is against the rule. For this great nation under God finds mention of him very odd. If scripture now the class recites, it violates the Bill of Rights. And any time my head I bow becomes a federal matter now. Our hair can be purple, orange, or green. That's no offense. It's a freedom scene. The law is specific. The law is precise. Prayers spoken aloud are a serious vice. For praying in a public hall might offend someone with no faith, faith at all. In silence alone, we must meditate. God's name is prohib prohibited by the state. We're allowed to cuss and dress like freaks and pierce our noses, tongues, and cheeks. They've outlawed God, guns, but first the Bible. To quote the good book makes me liable. We can elect the pregnant senior queen and the unwed daddy our senior king. It's inappropriate to teach right from wrong. We're taught that such judgments do not belong. We can get our condoms and birth controls study witchcraft, vampires, and totem poles, but the Ten Commandments are not allowed. No word of God must reach this crowd. It's scary here, I must confess. When chaos reigns, the school's a mess. So Lord, this silent plea I make, should I be shocked, my soul, please take. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now that's something to think about. How old are they? How old? Fifteen. Fifteen year old. A fifteen year old. Well, praise God. Amen. So, again, prepare yourselves to receive. Leave change. Don't leave the same way. You know what? He's not finished with you. And he wants to use you. We've been talking about making yourself available to him. Amen. That's fifteen year old. He made himself available to God. And God uses him. You know, God uses children. God uses teens. God uses all people. Are you making yourself available? Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. Amen. Because he's got plans for you. And all of them, and none of them wow. include defeat. That's Amen. It. He's got great plans for you. Amen. So see yourself the way he sees you. He sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. And you need to see yourself this way. Amen. So all you need to do is make yourself available. And remember this every day. All day. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I can do something. I can be somebody. I am somebody. Because God made me and God placed me here. And I can do all things through Him. Woo. Hallelujah. Well, before I get too excited, grab your swords. Amen. Grab your swords. Grab your Bibles. Dust them off. <laughs> and let's say make this declaration together. Amen. 
this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. My mind is alert. We know this. The battlefield is the mind. The enemy attacks the mind. He can't force you to make any, do anything, but he'll put the thoughts. Yes. And, man, and you'll be thinking about the past. You'll be thinking about failures. You'll be thinking about all these negative things. Uh -huh. And if you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, you'll fall right into mm -hmm. it. Amen. So we need to renew our yes, minds with the Word of God. Amen. Yes. So let's remember this. Okay. Your mind needs to be alert. Yes, your mind needs to be sharp. And your mind needs to stand on Him yes. and stay in the Word. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm preaching better than you ain't now. Amen. 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 I've got a few things I want to go over with you. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Let your word, let the word of God, let your say sos. Yeah. What are your say sos? The word I speak. Remember, death uh -huh. and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So yes. let your say sos be according to the word of God. Yes. Be encouraged yes. daily to send your words out in a positive direction. Amen. You know, you speak words uh -huh. and you know if you're positive or negative. If it's going to be a negative thing, don't even say it. But send, send your words out in a positive uh -huh. direction. Speak positive. Confess over your life. Amen. Over uh, by choosing to change your say so. I'm going to speak positive over my life. Amen. Amen. You do the same thing. Don't repeat what people say about you. Don't repeat what in negative things you hear but repeat what the word of God says about you yeah. amen and see yourself the way he sees you okay yeah. Proverbs 18 21 uh, and this uh, uh, well this 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 says that like this and this uh, translation that's what I <laughs> I couldn't think of that word this translation says this words can bring death to life mm -hmm. talk too much and you'll eat everything you say yeah. Or you can say it like this You're sowing things in your garden We all yeah. love to grow gardens But you know what It's going to grow what you sowed yeah. It's going to grow what you planted That's it. Amen So what have you been planting in your spiritual garden okay. Because it's going to be coming back to you Let, let me see I just got a few to say You say, Let your say so's be I'm happy We've been talking about being happy Be happy mm -hmm. Be joyful Be grateful be blessed, be a winner, be healthy, be uh, creative, be faithful, be focused, yes. be an overcomer, be a conqueror. Amen. The right people in my future, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the right people in my yeah. future. The right opportunities headed my way. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. So see yourself this way. When you start saying your positives say so, so your life will never be the same god will bless you beyond your wildest dreams get ready for god to do impossibles in your life see the world says it's impossible but if you say it god's way it says i am possible i am possible to do all things through christ who spent this man amen so have a happy and blessed every day daily amen rejoice and be glad in it Woo, hallelujah thank you before I go any further, I want to say thank you to the praise and worship team, you know, because they, oh man, the praise and worship was awesome. If you don't have a praise and worship, you need to have one. You know, heaven had a praise and worship leader, his name was Lucifer. <laughs> and he tried to put himself above God. And guess what? He didn't last long. He was shot out of heaven like a lightning. Yes. <laughs> he was out of there, praise God. But praise and worship, uh, as a matter of fact, I was going to read you my... A spiritual nugget this morning. My spiritual nugget goes like this. If you think praise and worship, I have people say, well, you know, I skip praise and worship because it doesn't mean anything to me. Uh -huh. Amen. Listen, listen to this. S scripture break. High praise. Your, high, your, high, your praise bring victory uh -huh. your praise is a weapon of warfare yeah. your weapons of warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds release your high praise mm -hmm. and you'll see the enemy flee the yeah, bible says yeah. submit yourself to god resist the devil and he'll flee from mm -hmm. you so you know what i'm going to praise my god 
and I'm going to magnify my God and, and not magnify my problems. Right, and right. you know, we got this backwards because we go around magnifying our problems more than we magnify our God. So be careful what you magnify. I want to magnify Him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to submit myself to Him, resist the enemy. You have to do something. Yeah. You have to resist Him. It means you got to speak the word. Yeah. Don't say, I can't learn the word. Don't wow. say, I can't do this. Because the word of God says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. That's it. Woo, hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm happy already. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. So be happy part two. All right. We're called to be happy. Believers, that's you and I, <laughs> should be happy. We should be the happiest people in the world. Why? Because we're believers. And we have the word. And we know what the word of God says. So we are standing on the word. Amen. When you hear all kinds of negative things going around. World wars and rumors of wars. And every, all these things happening. Guess what? I have peace about this. Because I'm standing on the word of God. The Bible says to put on the whole armor of God. And I'm, I'm keeping my armor on. I don't mind too. But Amen. I'm ready for a spiritual battle every day. So you don't need to take out your, your, your armor. Keep your armor on. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. We fight a spiritual battle every day. And you know what? You don't match to the enemy. That's it. If you're trying to fight him in the flesh. It's a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. We need the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we got to get it in us so we can speak it out. Why? Because we woke up this morning. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you this? Just a little review from last week. But we woke up this morning. That's your first miracle. You open your eyes. Yes. God gave you. A new day to, to worship Him. God gave you a new day to serve Him. God gave you a new day to be available for uh -huh. to, to be used of Him. Amen. So we're going to be happy and we're going to enjoy this day. Why? Because yeah. keep going. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, a few nuggets for you. Don't yeah. let the devil steal yeah. your joy. Don't let nobody steal your joy. It's the next one. Mm -hmm. Don't let anything or anyone steal your joy or your happiness. Amen. Yeah. You got to have it in you. It's yes. you. God gave it to you. Don't let nobody take it. As a matter of fact, just one of the uh, fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay, right there. That's good. Here's another way. Well, uh, some, no, go to the next one. Come mm -hmm. Here we go. This is the day the Lord has made. It says, we or I will rejoice and be glad in you. You have something to do about it. Yes, yeah. What do I have to do about it? Well, you've got to rejoice and be glad in you. When you know who you are and you got the word in you, you're going to know who who you are mm -hmm. and whose you belong to yeah, yeah. and whose you are. Yeah. Amen. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. No matter what's happening out there, the uh -huh. wars, the rumors of wars, right. all these negative things. Man, did you hear? Man, I got to hear the news all the time. Well, if you hear the news all the time, you're going to hear a lot of negative stuff. Yeah. Amen. You got to let it go and pray. Amen. Amen. Pray. Go back one card. There we go. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world. You know we're talking about the world. We're talking about people. Yeah. <laughs> For God so loved His people. Mm -hmm. He told His Son, "I'm going to send you. I'm going to crucify. I'm going to mm -hmm. uh, sacrifice you yes. <laughs> because I want my people back. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sacrifice you." Jesus knew when He came from the time He came that He was going to be sacrificed, mm -hmm. but He didn't back out. You know. Let's not us back out and be cowards, you know, and say, well, you know how I can do that. No. With him, you can do all things. Yes, Amen. All things. This is John 3.16. Everybody knows this. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only oh, begotten yeah. son that whoever, yes. that's you, whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Jesus came and paid a price he didn't owe. And I owe a price I cannot pay. Yeah. So I belong to him. If you don't know, nobody ever told you that. Now you've yeah. heard it. You belong to him. That's but you you know, you got to. Best way you can pay back is receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Get him in your life. Mm -hmm. Get off the throne and put him on the throne. Mm -hmm. And serve him. And get your priorities in order. Yes. You know, this, we, we're going to be talking again about our priorities. We got our priorities <laughs> all messed up. You can have priorities at, at, at work. That's fine. Get your work done and be faithful in your in your work. Mm -hmm. But in this life, yes. priority number one should be Jesus first. Yes. Amen. Jesus first. <laughs> so, 
this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice yes. and be glad in it. Amen. Uh, praise Him. I wanted to say thank you. A few songs. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. That's an awesome song. Yes. Another one was rejoice for the steps of a righteous man are ordered of God. Yes. yes. You're a righteous person. Yes. Boy, somewhere that happened for somebody. Yes. I've told you this many times. You need to write this down. But you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see. You're the closest thing to God some people will ever see or hear. Yes. So what's coming out of you? You got to watch your words and your actions. Yes. Amen. Speak the word. And they'll say, man, I heard it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When they heard it, when they hear it, when they heard it, when they hear it, <laughs> it's sowing a seed, yes, a is. spiritual seed yes. that's going to grow and give an increase. God's going to give the increase yes. and he's going to bring. Say, I remember that. That yeah. brother, that sister, man, they said something. And it just touched my heart. Mm -hmm. It touched my spirit. Yeah. And that seed is going to grow. And they're going to come to know Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you're the one bringing it. You're bringing yeah. the good news. Amen. Yeah. And, whoo, hallelujah. So rejoice and be glad in it. And I told you this last week. Rejoice. What does rejoice mean? Mm -hmm. It means be happy. Celebrate. Yeah. Be cheerful. Be delightful. Be joyful. Be pleased. I'm pleased to be a child of God. You know, I'm not missing out on the world. You know, if you're not feeding on the world, on the word of God, yeah. you're feeding on the world. Yes, and you're going to let the world take you out. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to be rejoicing in the things of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And glad means also be happy. Be, yeah. be ready. Each and every day. Say, <laughs> Don't wait. Be prepared. You say, be ready. Be prepared. Be eager. And be pleased. Yeah. This is what God is telling us every day when you wake up. You know, this is the day I have given you. Amen. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. We as children of God need to know who we are and whose we are. Mm -hmm. And this is the day He has given us. And I'm going to prepare myself. I'm yeah. going to be ready. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to be focused. I'm going to be eager. I'm going to be enthused about these things. Yes. Okay. Listen, the Bible says <laughs> you got to stir yourself up. Because yes. nobody's going to do it for you. Oh, um, man. If you want to feel miserable and lazy and, and out of it, you know, be a leaky Christian going somewhere, <laughs> it's, it's not good. You got to stir yourself up. You know, sometimes you got to build yourself up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because your flesh is not going to want to do it. No. The flesh wants to stay in bed. Mm -hmm. The flesh wants to stay comfy. The flesh oh, wants yeah. to do nothing. Mm. I said, wait a minute. I'm a child of God. I need to prepare myself. I need to be ready. God is going to send me on assignment. Yes. And I'm not even ready for it. Mm. Amen. And your job sends you on, on jobs that you know what you got to do. But yeah. when God sends you, hey, you got to be ready. And you can't yeah. be unprepared because the enemy is going to have you. Yes. Amen. Remember the spiritual battle? Mm -hmm. You won't do it in the flesh. Ain't going to be no match. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. You still there, Pastor? Yes. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> We see the joy of the Lord is our strength. That's what one of our scriptures from last week too. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Joy is the result of knowing who whose you are and who you are. Mm -hmm. That's joy. Man, I'm joyful. Thank you, yes. Father. I'm gonna be happy. It's okay to be happy. You know? Keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay, leave it right there. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, okay. We're there. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try to pronounce this the best I can, okay? So, Habakkuk, Habakkuk 3, 18, 19. <laughs> says, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will I will joy in the, Lord, in, in the God of my salvation. Uh -huh. The Lord God is my strength. Yes. Amen. He is my strength. You got to know this. And it's about joy. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So, when you're strong in Him, you look out. There's no match. The enemy is no match to you. That's he it. says, resist the devil. He'll go. You have to do something. That's I it. have to do my part. That's it. God has done His part. He sent That's Jesus. It. Jesus came. He did His part. Now I've got to do my part. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're not a weakling. If you see yourself that way, that means you've got to get in the Word more. Yes. That means you've got to have a relationship with yes. Him. So, Lord, I need you more. Amen. That's another song. The praise team said, uh, let us in, you know. I need you more now, more than anything, more than ever before. I need you now. 
You know, when you hear all these bad things happening, mm -hmm. Lord, I need you more. I need you now. Yes. Amen. Man, praise God. Yes. He is an awesome God. Yes, he Let is. me read it to you from the from this uh, from this translation. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Mm -hmm. The Lord God is my strength. Yes. He will make my feet like deer's feet, no. and He will make me walk yes. on high hills. Amen. Mm -hmm. The high hills. Praise God. Yes. So, number one, be happy. Mm -hmm. Be led by His Holy Spirit. Yes. Keep your joy by allowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you in the way we should go. We should be going God's way. Mm -hmm. Not our way. <laughs> Not the world's way, but we should be going His way. How do I know? Well, you have a relationship. Mm -hmm. You talk with Him. Amen. And He tells you, mm -hmm. we're going in the right way. Amen. Amen. If we're not going His way, yeah. we're going to have all kinds of sidetracks. Mm -hmm. Avoid the sidetracks because the enemy is going to see. Let me yeah. see where I wrote this. Let me, let me read this to you. World, I'm talking about people, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, mm -hmm. people. Worldly, world people, things, distractions will change uh, your priorities. Mm -hmm. They will rob you of happiness and joy. Yeah. Distractions, mm -hmm. people, things are going to come mm -hmm. and take you away from this. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Remember, you are a trigean. What is a trigean? Mm -hmm. I, I am a spirit you can't see. I have a soul you can't see. And I live in a physical body. Yeah. This is my body. You can see my body. Mm -hmm. No problem. But you can't see my spirit. You can't see my soul. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> but. Unless you, you act up. Unless, yeah, unless you act up. <laughs> or what you say. Amen. But things, distractions are going to take you out of the way. Out of God's way. So we got to be careful not to be distracted in the wrong ways. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Woo! Praise God. Uh, John, uh, in the, another way, God's way is this. John 40, 14, 6. It's right here. There's only one way. Which way is going? It's going up. One way. And only one way to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Says Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and yeah. the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's it. And if you want to go to heaven... <laughs> There's only one way, yes. and that means you have to receive Jesus. How do I receive Jesus? Uh -huh. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Yes. Amen. Just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come my life. Be my Lord and Savior. If you never said it before, it's never too late. You yes. can say it now. Amen. Amen. And make it to heaven. You yes. know, don't wait to the last minute because tomorrow's not guaranteed. The next breath is not guaranteed. Amen. So get it right now and start doing it. And start living for him. Amen. Amen. So Jesus, uh, John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And Proverbs 16, 9 says this. A man's heart plans his ways, but God directs his steps. That's it. Amen. Proverbs 16, 9. Mm -hmm. New King James says a man's heart plans his ways, but the Lord directs his steps. That's okay. It. So he's going to direct you, but are you going to give him permission to do so? Mm -hmm. He wants to, he's directing you in the right way. Yes. But we keep hearing distractions. We keep hearing things. The world wants to get in. The world wants to get in. But we need to renew our minds with the word of God. And start Amen. keeping the word. And yes. confessing the word. Yes. And walk in the way we should go. He says he'll direct your steps. That's it. Amen. So you can't go wrong. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But you got to stay focused. You got to yes. stay planned. You got to uh, walk with him. Proverbs 17, 22. Keep going. 17, 22. New King James says, A merry heart does good like medicine, Amen. but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Amen. Well, guess what? God's, God is medicine. God heals. And guess what? There's no side effects. This is side effects are good. Amen. There's nothing wrong with this side effects. All his side effects are, are, are good. Amen. So a merry heart does good like medicine. Amen. But a broken spirit drives right. the ball. Too many people complaining about how boring life is. Listen, oh my gosh. listen, listen. Too many people complaining about how boring life is, including yeah. Christians oh, or on, believers. Man. Whatever you want to call yourself. Are you a Christian? We or you a, are you a believer? Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Be, careful. Be careful. It's hell yes. without Jesus. 
anywhere, everywhere you go, if you don't have Jesus, it's going to be him. And it's going to be worse if you're not living according to him. But it's hell out there. It's hell out there without Jesus. If you don't know it by now, you should. We need to have our priority list. Have priority. Everything else has priorities. Everywhere, every job you go to has priorities. You need to be there at a certain time. <laughs> And you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. You have responsibilities, you have priorities. Well, we need to do the same thing with Him. When we serve Him, our first priority is this. Seek Him first. Yeah. Matthew 6, 33. Right here. But seek first what? The kingdom of kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough troubles of its own. Okay, so you know, you start worrying about tomorrow, you start worrying about the future or whatever, you're compounding all kinds of troubles together. Yeah. You have to be careful. Amen. Don't worry about tomorrow. You take care of right now, Lord, and be with him and go to him and he'll direct your steps. Amen. This is what I want you to do. Well, he never talks to me. Well, you never open your Bible. Yeah. <laughs> you never spend time with him. Well, I'm always too in a hurry. I'm doing too many things. Yeah, you're right. You're doing too many things. You're overloaded with the yeah. negative things, the wrong things. Your priorities are out of order. <laughs> uh -huh. You got to seek him first and make time. Don't just say, hey, I'm here, Lord. Bye. No. <laughs> or sometimes we just go and dump everything we want him to do for us and take off. And don't work that way. <laughs> it don't work that way. Anyway, no relationship, no le no no, no uh, loving. There's no reading. There's nothing going on. There's no relationship. So it opens the door for the enemy. It opens the door to the flesh. It opens the door to distractions that are going to come your way. Amen. So you you you, you know we we we've uh, got this uh uh umbrella of protection that we're under he's watching over us but you know when you start walking away from him the world's going to have you yeah. the enemy's going to have you all these distractions are going to pull you away yeah. so you got to be careful amen there's no relationship there's no communication amen if there's communication it's probably you just dump it on him and take it off but he's not there for you I mean, I mean, he's there, but we're not letting him in. Stay in relationship. Stay connected. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes two to call. It takes two to talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Stay connected. Stay focused. Stay with him. Stay on course. You know, the GPS stands for our Global Positioning System. And it let us know where we are and where we're going anywhere on this earth. Man, GPS. We got to have our, our Jesus GPS on all the time. Knowing where we're going. We're going with you, Lord. We're going where you want us to be. Amen. Amen. And wherever he wants you to be, just be happy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be happy. You know, it's best to be happy than be sad. <coughs> That's just, it. Thank you, Lord. I'm doing this under you. Life is not born if we have our priorities. In right. Life. life could be born if you let your priorities slip. Nobody can let them slip except you. That's it. So it's your choice. Amen. Nobody else is. Somebody comes, don't compromise. That's it. Don't let your priorities slip. Say, hey, you know, we got company. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We don't get to go to church. We stay home and entertain our company. No. no. Company? <laughs> I tell my company, company, <laughs> we're going to church. I can't miss church anyway. I'm the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell the company it says look tomorrow is Sunday or today is Sunday we're going to church you're welcome to come with us or you stay mm -hmm. you help yourself mm -hmm. do whatever whatever yeah. we have help yourself you can have but we're inviting you come to church with us mm -hmm. Amen. remember we're the church we're just saying we're having services today yeah. this is just a, a spiritual this, a gathering for for us believers amen yes, yes. this is not the yes, church this is a building where we come together yes. assemble ourselves together we are the church yes. we are the body of christ amen so we need to be here 
to encourage one another, lift one another, and support one another. Mm -hmm. Encourage one another. Amen. That's what that's what we do. And say, hey, we need to pray for so and so, sister, brother. Life is not born if we're led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we gotta get our priorities in order. We gotta be right. flexible and we gotta be able to change, make changes. If he tells you to change, no, don't go that way. I'm used to going this way. The Lord says, go this way. Yeah. Change. Be flexible. Amen. If he wants you to change, you don't have to just be the same all the time. If God says change, be flexible. Yes, change. Yes. You will lose your joy if you're not willing to get out of your boat, yeah. your box, your comfort zone, yeah. and be led by God's Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, some of us are, are too, too comfy. We want to stay in a little comfy zone. We want to stay in our little boat. We want to stay in our little box. We want to stay in our little closet. Uh -huh. Everybody's come out of their closets right. except Christian people. You know, we get around people and they start talking their way, cussing their way, and doing their way, and we say nothing. Mm. Amen? And we get around people, they don't even know you're a Christian. Mm. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Praise God. We got to climb out of our boat. Yes. Even Peter says, he saw Jesus walking in water. He says, wow, I want to do that. Can I come? Can I come play? <laughs> and Jesus says, come. That's all he said is come. And that was enough for him to get out of his boat and start walking to Jesus. That's it. Walking then he started thinking about, I can't do this. <laughs> so he started sinking. <laughs> if he tells you to do something. Yes. Just go and do it. Why? Because he's called me to do it. He yes. wants me to do it. Amen. That's it. Be happy. Simplify your life. Yes. <laughs> Simplify your life. Oh, don't yeah. <laughs> don't try doing too much. Yeah. Don't try overloading yourself. Uncomplicate your life. Uh -huh. you, you ever heard of a circuit breaker? <laughs> I don't. I, I'm not yeah. an electrician, but I know a circuit breaker says uh, it helps with the current. If it's overloaded, the yes. brake is going to go off. Yes, yes. Amen. It's going to just cut everything off mm -hmm. before there's an accident or before there's a fire. Yeah. So we need to have a spiritual uh, circuit breaker. Yeah. Yeah. We get too busy. Yeah. That circuit breaker needs to go off and say, hey, you know why it went off? Because you're doing too much. You know, you can drop dead and nobody care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can drop dead and yeah. we'll just replace you with somebody else. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even know he was dead. Uh -huh. So be careful. Amen. Satan complicates so he can steal, kill, destroy. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. John 10 10. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, it is. And Jesus says, I have come that you might have life yeah, and have it more, more abundantly. More. So he's not putting you through all these hard things, you know. We put ourselves there. Mm -hmm. Amen. We put ourselves there. So be careful who your enemy is. Mm -hmm. And who the, en the enemy wants to do with you. Mm -hmm. Steal, kill, and destroy you. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. You know, things may go good for a little bit, but he's, he wants to destroy you. Yes, he does. Amen. That's, that's his, that's his goal. That's his goal. Woo, hallelujah. Says, me read the way I wrote it here. Satan complicates so he can still kill and destroy your happiness, your yeah. joy. Mm -hmm. We keep too busy to enjoy all God has given us. Mm -hmm. Remember Mary and Martha? You know the story. Mm -hmm. One was at the feet of Jesus, mm -hmm. saying, Wow, he saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. She saw Jesus mm -hmm. and she saw the master mm -hmm. and says, Wow, she went and worshiped him. He yes. went and served him. Yes. Amen. And she was there for him. Yeah. The other one was too busy, too busy, too busy, you know. And she even came to Jesus and says, look, see what she's doing? This is not good. I'm doing all the work. Let her come and help me. Jesus had to correct her right there. Yes, says, mm -mm. No, no, no. She's doing the right thing. Yeah. You are not. You know, like I said, you know, you could be as busy as you want. That's and it. you can drop dead. And they'll just say, well, you're just a body. We'll just find another body to do it for you. That's it. That's the way the world is. All they're thinking about is money. That's all they care about is making money. And you're just a body. And if you're gone, they'll just replace you with another body. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. 
and say, oh, well, bye. <laughs> Keep too busy to enjoy all God has given us. Enjoy your relationship with Him. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your time with family and friends. Enjoy. You know why? <laughs> when you get too old, then it's going to be too late. Say, wow, yeah. what, what happened? And the world don't care. No, they don't. The world don't care at all, period. <laughs> they don't care. And they don't care how old you are, how you feel. <laughs> you can be easily replaced. Yes. Amen. But you know, when you're serving Him, He's going to see to it that you are blessed. He's going to see to it that you're rewarded. Amen. Right, right. He's going to see to all this. When you're doing something, just throw it under Him. And He's going to bless yeah. you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Take time to laugh and smile. Some of us really need to smile. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us have the prettiest yeah. smile, and we don't even use it. We yeah. laugh at the wrong things. Yeah, yeah. Smile is a good thing, you know. Yes, Some of is. us might break our face off if we crack a smile, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, crap. Make them right. cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You surprised me. I didn't know you could smile. <laughs> oh, my God. Help me, Lord. <laughs> so I really need to smile. <laughs> Been frowning for too long. And you got like a stone face, man. Crack a smile. Enjoy life. Again, Psalms 118.24. This is the day the Lord has given me. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You know, if God has given me a new day, He's gonna put I, it's gonna put a smile on my face. Mm. Amen. Mm. And it's gonna make people mad. Yeah. Because they don't want to see you happy. That's it. And they're going to come ask you. Are, there's a lot of people out there that don't care for you. There's a lot of people out there that hate you. But when they see you smiling, they're going to come and they're going to want to know why you're smiling. Mm -hmm. Have you heard the latest? Have you heard the worst bad news happening? Yeah, I've heard. So why are you still smiling? Because... They open the door for you to come in Amen. and say, because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And he blesses me every day. Yes. Amen. And I don't let the good, the bad in. I just let the good out. Amen. And this is where you can come in and say, you got to be strong enough not to cuss like they cuss. Oh, not to say on. what they say, mm -hmm. but to say what God wants you to say. To see people that hate you. To see people that are cursing you. And to look at them with the love and compassion of Jesus. Mm. It takes a lot. That takes a person. That takes a strong person to oh, be able to say those things. Because you want to do just like they do. Oh, and I can yeah. cuss you as good as oh, you will cuss Jesus. me. That's not what Jesus did. No. And he's our greatest example. Yes, he's he a, we're supposed to imitate him. Yeah. He came and he died for them. Even though they spat on him. Even though they put stripes on his back. Mm -hmm. Even though they did all kinds of things. They hung him up there naked. Yeah. For people to see. That's humiliating. Yes. But he did all these things. Amen. And they put all these things. Jesus says, you know, remember when they hate you. Mm -hmm. They hated me first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great example. Yeah. We got to remember these things, you know. Don't take it all on yourself. That's it. They already did it to him. Yeah. So now he just wants us to be yes, the, the good news uh, bearers, the good news spreaders. Amen. Amen. And when you see him with his love and through his eyes, yes. you know, we can say, you know, I am happy because my Savior, my Jesus died for me. Yes. And he, he loves you. He wants you to know that he loves you and he died yes. for you too. Remember this. When you try to judge and act like them, the same Jesus that died for you died yeah, for them. Died for them. Mm -hmm. They may not know it until it comes out of you. Mm -hmm. See, I never heard it like that before. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever told me that before. Mm -hmm. Well, God used you to bring the good news good and news. heal to that one person. Amen. The good news. Man, I hate that person. No. Man, I want to just in the flesh. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't know what I want to tell this person. Mm. But Jesus is telling me That's something it. different. And yes. I'm going to say what Jesus tells me. Yes. And not what I want to say. That's right. So I got to crucify me. That flesh. I got to crucify that flesh. Mm. <laughs> Amen. And speak what he wants me to speak. Yes, you do. How can I get the message across if I'm not willing to yield myself mm -hmm. and speak what God wants me to speak? Mm -hmm. You can do the same thing. Yes, you can. Amen. So be happy. 
pray with boldness. It says, let us therefore come with boldly mm -hmm. to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Time of need. Amen. Yes. Uh, it says, if you open your Bibles to Hebrews mm -hmm. 4, 16, I'm going to you can read it in the King James. I'm gonna or whatever translation you have. I'm gonna read it out of the uh, four sixteen. Four sixteen. I'm gonna read it out of the amplified. Okay. See what the amplified says. Four sixteen. Are you there? Not good. Not good. <laughs> a Hebrews chapter four, verse sixteen. Okay. <clears throat> amplified says. Let us then fearlessly and confidently and boldly draw near to the throne of grace. A throne of God. Yes. The throne of God. Uh -huh. The throne of God's unmerited favor to us sinners. Mm -hmm. That we may receive mercy for yes. our, our, our failures. Uh -huh. <laughs> and find grace to help in good time. Of, yes. For every need. Appropriate help and well-timed help mm -hmm. coming just when we needed it yes amen this is what the amplified says you know mm -hmm. sometimes it's okay to read several translations yes. Yes. amen so you can understand it don't read yes. it and not understand it you know right. read it so that you can understand what it's saying you know and it's called spiritual maturity yes when you read it and all of a sudden it just lights up and says mm -hmm. wow i never saw it like that before mm -hmm. it's called growing up it's yes. called spiritual maturity yes. he wants us to grow as believers yes. he doesn't want us to stay as baby christians yes. all our yes. life Thank you, Lord. he wants us to grow in the things of god in the word of god mm -hmm. because we got bigger assignments for us yes. amen yes. so we got to be prepared as we grow and mature in the things of god we're climbing the spiritual ladder yes. and you know they say new new to let new levels new devils, new devils. That's it. and they get tougher and tougher and tougher oh, but greater is he that's in me yes. than he that is in the world. You got to remember these things, mm -hmm. amen? And you yes. can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens you. Yes. So be bold, be confident in God when you pray. Mm -hmm. Don't be double-minded when you ask for his blessings. Mm -hmm. Just ask for what you need and boldly and in faith. Boldly and in faith. Without wavering, hesitating, yes. or doubting. Yes. Knowing that your righteousness is of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. The anointed one in this anointing. Amen. Amen. That's who Christ is. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Well, you can come boldly to the throne of God. Why? Yes. Because you're a child of God. Amen. You know, it took me a long time to know this. Hmm. When you're born again, now you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. You know, some are taught every time you sin, you fall out of grace. Yeah. That you're no longer a child of God. Mm -hmm. You got to start all over again. No, no. That's not what the Word of God teaches. Mm -hmm. It's time we learn the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says the truth is going to set you free. free. Why? Because I'm maturing and I'm growing in the things of God. <clears throat> Amen. So if I sin, I'm. St. Corinthians 5 17 says that the old is out, the new is in. I'm a new child of God. I had a spiritual birth and I'm a born. I'm born again, and I'm a child of God. If I'm a child of God now, mm -hmm. and I go sin, still I'm still a child of God. What I need to do is confess. <clears throat> I need to confess what I've done. Say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. He's going to forgive you. And he's going to forgive you. He says, when Jesus forgives you, he says, he'll forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. The enemy sees to it that you remember the same thing yeah. over and over yeah. and over and he tries to attack your mind mm -hmm. and battlefield is the mind mm -hmm. and you're going to think of it and i said well i confessed it but i still feel dirty mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you confess it and gave it to jesus he yeah, forgot yeah. he forgave you and he forgot about it yeah so what about why are you still holding on to it mm -hmm. let it go yeah. start yeah. fresh yeah. get up and and and, and continue mm -hmm. on your on your walk with him yes. amen, amen. Woo, hallelujah i don't think we're going to finish this <laughs> be happy be quick to forgive yes. oh but you don't know what they did do you remember what they done to Jesus before they couldn't kill him they tried everything to kill him they couldn't yeah. kill him 
But before, before he surrendered himself to the Father, mm -hmm. he was not finished yet. He had to go to hell right. and take the keys mm -hmm. of death, hell, and the grave. Mm -hmm. He says, Father, forgive me. Forgive me. Man, you don't know what they've done to me. Mm. They cussed me. <laughs> That's all. That's nothing. The things Jesus went through, mm -hmm. and for him to say, Lord, look what they've done. Father, look what they've done to me. Yes. Don't forgive him. He could have called angels to come yes. and take him and, and slay them all. But he didn't. He says, Father, forgive me. If Jesus can say that, this is your example. He's your greatest example. If he can do that, so can we. Yes. So be quick to forgive. I'm not telling you this. Uh, the word of God is telling you this. Yes. <clears throat> Happiness, joy is restored to your life when you learn how to forgive and forget. And these two virtues work together. Yeah. Psalms 103 and 12 says this. Mm. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions yeah. from us. The east is from the west. You know what? It just keeps going. It never cool. come together. That's, it. That's how far he's forgiven us. Mm -hmm. If he can do that for us, so can we. Yes. If we're going to imitate him, be imitators of God, of God, of Jesus. We need to do the same thing. We must forgive. Allow forgiveness to do its redemptive work. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's going to do it. It's, it's work. It's going to work. Stop remembering what they did to you. Yeah. You know, confess it to them. And give it to them. And leave it there. <coughs> Remember I told you about taking out your trash to the dumpster? Mm -hmm. You never bring it back. Mm -hmm. That's no good. It's smelly. It's stinky. You don't want it back. That sin is worse. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you leave it at the cross, yes. leave it there. Let it stay there. Yeah. Give it to him, cast it on him, yeah. and don't bring it back. That's it. Stop remembering what they did. Yeah. We need to do that. Stop thinking, talking about it, mm -hmm. uh, uh, about them, mm -hmm. about the problem. About the problem. You keep remembering the same thing over and over. So what do I do? The Bible says renew your mind yes. with the word of God. That's it. Renew your mind. What's the word of God says? Forgive, mm -hmm. forget. And now, every time it pops up, mm -hmm. just say, I'm already confessing. I'm not going there no more. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I'm not doing that. Or hit delete every time. Yeah. I say, I'm deleting this. That's it. I'm not going there anymore. Mm -hmm. It's a done thing. It's a done thing. Done deal. It's a done deal. Remember in the past, offense reopens wounds and feeds angers. Yes. Remember, it's a flesh thing here. Anger feeds unforgiveness. Mm. You've heard many people say this, and we might have said it ourselves. I ain't never gonna forgive them. Mm. Okay? I ain't never gonna forgive them. Oh, well, boy. you know what? <laughs> you open the door to yes. enemy. The enemy. Amen. You open the door for the enemy and uh, you need to give it up. Mm. You know, some of us right now, we can just say, I'm not holding on to that no more. Yes, Lord, I forgive. I forgive this person. I forgive that person. I forgive whoever. Mm. All I can think of. I mean, as many as hurt me, or as many as whatever, as many people as you got. Says, Lord, just forgive them all. Mm. Says, Lord, give me the strength. Yeah. Give me the ability to do this. <laughs> Amen. I need your help. Mm. Amen. It's okay to ask for His help. Yeah. Why do we need to forgive other people? Because our faith won't grow. That's it. Because we're not growing. We're staying still. Mm -hmm. We're not allowing our, not allowing ourselves to grow. Unforgiveness blocks our fellowship with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We want to make everything right with Him, but we're not forgiving the same people that we that He died for. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They're not good enough. Mm -hmm. But we want to go and do this. No, mm -hmm. say no. Mm -hmm. First, go and ask forgiveness. Yes. Amen. Forgive. Yeah. And that's what he's telling us to do. Yes. Read the word. <laughs> it prevents spiritual growth. Yes. We, we, we need to mature and grow in the things of God. Yes. We torture ourselves when we hold on to grudges mm -hmm. and don't forgive others. Right. While we are miserable and upset, the person who hurt us is happy and enjoying their lives. Yeah. Not even I, thinking I, I, about you. Oh, I'm telling you. And you see them. Mm -hmm. And it just brings hurt. Mm -hmm. He says, wow, you know, here I am miserable. Mm -hmm. 
and there they are having a good time, not yeah. even thinking about it. Yeah. When, well, let me read it to you like this. It says, <laughs> holding on to unforgiveness is like taking poison oh. and hoping the enemy will die. Oh, boy. <laughs> you're taking it, and you're waiting for the enemy mm -hmm. to die. It ain't going to happen. It's so quit holding on to unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. We're, we're human. Yes, we're human. Mm -hmm. But Lord gives us, yeah. help us, give us the strength that we need yes. to be able to do this. Yeah. And help us to see people on a daily basis the way you see them. Yeah. Help us to see them with the love and compassion that you get, can give us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. If you have lost your happiness and joy because of unforgiveness, mm -hmm. start forgiving people. Amen. Now. <laughs> ASAP. You ever heard yes. of that? As uh, soon as possible. Yes. Now is the right time. Amen. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait till the next day. But do it now. Amen. Amen. And you know what? It's, it, it's going to happen. Yes. So praise God. Make the list of people you need to forgive and ask the Lord. <laughs> Lord, give me the strength, the power mm -hmm. to forgive these people. Yes. And to listen. Let go and let God. Yes. Yes. Let it go. Release it. You know, if I give you a gift, I'm going to release it and you're going to take it. Mm -hmm. But I need to release it. When I release it and you take it, it's yours. Yeah. There's no nothing attached, no strings attached. Amen. Amen. He has forgiven and forgotten our sins. We should not hold on to unforgiveness That's against it. anyone anymore. That's it. We need to practice this. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So you heard it. We're gonna stop here. <laughs> That's the first time I heard you. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. Number five is going to be about be happy and obey God. <laughs> number five. <laughs> yes, number five is going to be be happy, obey God. Yes, this is part two. Yes, this is part two. So I guess we're gonna do part three. <laughs> So let's stop right there. And uh, before we close, we're not going to close until we give you an opportunity. Those within the sound of my voice, those of you that are watching, if you never ask Jesus in your life, yeah. and those here, if you yeah. never ask Jesus in your life, now's the time. You know, yeah. it's never too late. Never. I don't care what anybody said that you can't. God can never use you again, or God can never forgive you. That's a lie. So all you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And he will. Yes. But once you receive him, you had a spiritual birth. And you need to hook up yourself to a church mm -hmm. where they teach the word of God. Amen. And go there and start growing in the things of God. Mm -hmm. Have relationships. Speak yes. to him. Read the word of God. Amen. Amen. And start growing in the things of God. And start going out and do God's work. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. You can do all these things. If you're watching and you need a touch of healing, the Bible says that by Jesus Christ you're healed. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that Jesus took his stripes on his back. Yeah. So that we could be healed. So yes. man, you can touch that part of your body. Yes. Wherever you it is. Lord, I thank you. Those that are within the sound of my voice. Those that are here, those that are watching, Lord. That by Jesus stripes are healed, Father yes. God, because their body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And we accept no malfunctions in our bodies, yes. Lord, in Jesus' precious name. And we rebuke that spirit of infirmity to yes. go now in Jesus' yes. precious name. And we thank you and we release that healing powers to overtake them right now in Jesus' name. Yes. So, body, we see your healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise, praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Well, you know, some of you that are listening, some of you that are watching, you've benefited from uh, the message and you've been uh, listening to us. Uh -huh. So it's a time to, for you to give. Amen. Amen. So just go to our website, nbcbigben.com and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. So remember, God loves you and we love you. And remember, next Sunday is Father's Day. Yes. So let's not forget that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you.